Gamers are looking forward to 2023 and here I come with the best pick. Hey folks, today on Joker's Den, top 12 best mobile games to play in January 2023. So stick with me and don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on. So this is Jasper and let's begin. Starting off with number 12, Team 4S2 Multiplayer FPS. It's a multiplayer shooter and you can say it's a low budget Team Fortress. In this game you can choose one of your favorite heroes and join either blue or red team to fight other players. The game offers many heroes with distinct skills suitable for sniper, scout or support. And the game also provides a variety of weapons for each hero, you can choose the right weapon to enhance the stats. Plus, the game has many beautiful 3D maps for you to explore. Overall, it's a decent game and there are lots of things to fix off like some glitches, bugs and FPS drops. Okay, moving on to number 11, Street Drag 2. It's a driving game where you participate in all kinds of street races like racing, tournaments and plenty of other competitions that are held on the street. The game is designed to push your cars to the limit as in the first installment of this series you will have to put the pedal to the metal if you want to reach the finish line before your opponents. And one of the most striking aspects of Street Drag 2 is its detailed graphics. Each car and scenario with highly detailed and carefully textured 3D graphics. So if you like drag racing then you can give it a shot. And on number 10, Eternal Hunt Dark Ancient. It's a role-playing game with the best fights and various tasks to complete and you can create a character for yourself. Choosing a better class as the first step to entering the game. In the gameplay, lots of enemies are waiting for you to defeat. Still, thanks to his beginner guide and its tips and tricks, you can experience tremendous victories no matter how challenging your situation. And there are 6 classes to choose from but only 4 are available right now. Overall, it's a decent RPG that you can try and before moving on, drop a like on this video right now. Next over at number 9, Paint Man Go. It's a team-based multiplayer that challenges you to score more points than your opponent. To do that, all you have to do is paint the entire set. This game is really similar to Splatoon 2, the incredibly fun Nintendo game. And the controls are the traditional ones for 3D action games. So it's a super entertaining and competitive game that doesn't try to hide its origins. It is clearly a well-designed clone of the popular Splatoon 2 and includes a ton of awards that are just waiting for you. It also includes several game modes so you won't get bored with the traditional 4 vs 4 that it displays. Down to number 8, Auto Chase MOBA. It's a MOBA where you immerse yourself in a universe full of undiscovered heroes and fight intense 5 vs 5 battles. By assembling the best characters, you must try to make the most of all their skills to defeat all the enemies you encounter while defeating your throne. As in other iconic games of this genre, in this game you move each character freely through the various maps. Attacking your opponent's turtles while fully utilizing your own is one of your main objects throughout this game. So, it's a decent MOBA and what's your favorite game of the genre, comment down below. And on number 7, Ever Soul. It's a mobile RPG set in a post-apocalyptic world. It uses medieval fantasy at its core. Players will lead together a squad of anime waifus and there is a chance to increase a romantic bond with some of them via gifts and side quests. The game will offer a very entertaining experience as your victory depends as much on the quality of your souls as on the way you combine your skills. But Eversoul isn't only about fighting. 
you can date characters or strengthen your friendship with them. You can also explore and create your own city, decorating it to your liking or participate in dungeon and exclusive content depending on your characters. The game will officially release on January 5. Now moving on to number 6, Ricochet Squad. This one is a mobile team shooter where players choose their unique characters and fight it out on a small arena to claim a zone. The game has basic sound effects, voiced hero phrases and nice interface. So, in this game you can have 3 vs 3 multiplayer action shooter set in the future and play as one of the eccentric characters with powerful abilities. You can dash and slide, deploy mines and rockets, destroy objects on the map or even propel them towards your enemies. Overall, it's a good game which is so close to tactical. And on number 5, Chaos Portal Reaper of Grim. It's a western fantasy MMORPG where players can decorate their character with sharp graphics. The game features 5 classes of protagonists in a world where chaos prevails and monsters are repent. With a variety of daily quests, dungeons and endless events that promise to bring you moments of great relaxation. In addition, the game also owns an auto battle system which is sucks. But every time developers claim that it helps you quickly complete the test in a more convenient way. Anyway, the game is suitable for the player who loves MMORPG Although the leveling up is quite fast, even the new items are equipped in just one tap. Anyway, the game is out only in Korea. Okay, on number 4, Archiland. This one is a tactical role-playing game with great graphics. Apparently, the gameplay will be three-dimensional. The battles will be step-by-step -step and in the 1-1 -on -one format. Overall, it's a good-looking tactical role-playing game with turn-based gameplay that brings players to experience to the life of the queen of the land of Kaitura. So, before jumping to the top 3, smash the subscribe button and share this video with friends. Alright, on the third number of the list, Ninja Must Die. It's a platformer action game with a beautiful ink painting style. Every landscape in the Ninja Kingdom is full of intense vitality. Players seem to be immersed in the world of squad and enjoy the refreshing fighting feeling. You will join the game as a young ninja and you are supposed to fight against bosses and solve puzzles. It will take on many challenges and ignite your passion. Also, the game offers the most tactical multiplayer combat experience ever in this RPG. So if you love the platformer series then you should try this one out. And on number 2, CRSED Cuisine Royal. This one is a third person shooter action video game in the battle royal genre. In this game, you will find a variety of unique characters with different abilities that will define the course of each game. And one of the most interesting aspects of the game is the mixer of the realism, of the use of weapons and the black magic that sets the scene, which makes this game an exceptional experience. Overall, it's a decent game and it's a new battle royal so you can check out. Finally, on the top of the list, Spider Fighter 3. 
This one is an action RPG where players will fight against street gangs as a new superhero. Players will control Spider to fight the criminal gangs in the most exciting and wonderful way. Civilians in the city are in dire need for your help and it is almost impossible for the police force and army to fight the fearsome mafia bosses. So you are their last glimmer of hope. The game has great graphics and very good controls and it tries to give the best feeling of Marvel Spider-Man on mobile. Anyway, I like the Spider Fighter series and I love this one. So if you are looking for an action game, then this is for you. So that's all for today, thanks for watching, you can also watch this week's latest mobile gaming news. Alright don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe with all notifications on. So we'll catch up in the next one, till then happy gaming.